Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial of Home Automation DIY and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to automate the outside lights using light sensors. Now this is very similar to the automation tutorial that I posted last week where we did the same automation using the online approach which is we get the sunrise and the sunset times from the internet and use those timings to switch on or switch off uh, the light outside. Now in this case we'll be using the light sensor to measure the ambient light outside and when the ambient light is down we will switch on the light and when the ambient light is high which is when the sun rises up we will switch off the light. For this automation we'll use the Sonoff Wi-Fi switch we use the BH1750 light sensor. To upload the code into the Sonoff, we'll use the USB 2 TTL adapter. Here we'll use the CP2102 adapter. If you have this one already, you can just reuse it. Now the reason why we use the BH1750 sensor instead of say the normal LDR sensor is because here we would have the I square C output whereas in a LDR sensor you will have to take the analog output. Now in case of a Sonoff an analog pin is not readily available and that's the reason why we use the BH1750 sensor instead of the LDR sensor. If you're doing this kind of upload uh, for the very first time I would definitely recommend that you go through this detailed post on how to upload the Sonoff using the Arduino IDE in order to set up the Arduino ID to move to the next step. For this tutorial, go to the blog post as given in the description into the Arduino code and copy the Arduino code into your Arduino ID. Take a blank sketch and paste it there. Now save this sketch Remember that this sketch uses a library BH1750. Now in order to install that library, I have made a detailed post uh, on how to install that and the link to the GitHub uh, repository I have provided in the blog post. Coming back to the Arduino IDE, you can now click on verify in order to compile the code. Okay, once the code has successfully compiled, you can then start to upload the code into your Sonoff. To upload the code into your Sonoff, take the Sonoff Wi-Fi switch. Now, I have made another post and a video detailing the full processes that is involved in order to upload the code. You can find the link in my blog post. Remove the casing. Now as I said, here we have the header pins attached if you are buying the Sonoff uh, from our store. Otherwise you need to like solder these header pins into the Sonoff. Take your USB 2 TTL adapter and plug in the jumper wires into these uh, header pins. Okay, once connected, you need to hold down the reset button and then plug the adapter into your system. Once plugged, you can release the reset button and now you'll be ready to upload the code. To upload the code, just click on the upload button. you will be able to see that the code is getting uploaded. Once the code has been uploaded, you can remove the jumper wires from the Sonoff and move to the next step. Now that we have uploaded the code into the Sonoff, it's time to connect the wires. 
So we take the light sensor BH1750 and we take the jumper wires. Now uh, you can see the markings on the sensor. So you need to connect the ground. The next one is the analog out. We don't use the analog out, so you can skip that. We can go to the SDA. You have SCL. And then the voltage, VCC. Okay, so now we have connected the sensor. Now we need to connect it back to the Sonoff. So first, let's take the black one is the ground that we have uh, put in. So the ground goes to the ground in the Sonoff. Then we have SDA. SDA goes to TX in the Sonoff, which is the next pin. Then we have SCL, which goes to RX. Again, these markings I've already, and the wiring diagram, I've already provided in the blog post, so you can refer to that. And then the, finally the voltage, which goes to the 3.3 volt in. That's it. So now we have connected the sensor to the sonar. Now that we have connected uh, the Sonoff with the sensor, let's put it back in the casing. Okay, uh, you can ensure that this wire from the sensor is taken out right just by the side of the connector and the reset pin goes into the slot as provided. Give it a gentle press. To snap it back in. With the sensor now connected to the Sonoff, now it's time to connect the wires to the Sonoff output. Take a small piece of wire and insert it into these wire connector terminals. Just ensure that they do not touch each other and then tighten the screws. Once you have ensured that the screws are tightened correctly and the wires do not touch each other, you can snap back the flaps, press it down, and screw the tightening screws in place. With the screws tightened and with the sensors and the wire in place, now it's time to install it into our automation. Okay, so here is the light that I would like to automate. Let's take a closer look. As you can see, these are regular tube lights and these are the input to the tube lights. The black wire is the neutral and the yellow one is the live wire. So what we'll do is we'll just unscrew these terminals and put them in the sonar input. Okay, so I made all the connections, the mains from the power supply that is going to the sonar input and from the sonar output there are two wires that's going to the tube light connection. The sensor I placed on the side because it should fall on the shadow of the tube light and also it should face the sunlight. I mean this way is the, where the sunlight comes from. Alright, so we have made the connections. Now let's uh, twist it out. Okay, now the light is switched on. The sonar I have attached using a double sided tape. Same with the sensor as well. Now if I, right now it's daylight so it shouldn't turn on which is the case. Now if I just simulate darkness by closing the uh, sensor light. Yep, now it comes on. 
the reason why it's not turning off now is because there is a logic that is built into the code which says only if it finds three consecutive observations of increase in light in the light sensor will it turn off the light I mean that happens only when uh, the sun comes up in the morning all right hope you have enjoyed uh, this automation and are you able to use this in your uh, home